Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're working on the cabinets again. See, Lacey in the background, she was actually doing the painting. That was the same time that I was doing this cabinet and ripping this one out. This is the cabinet that the range used to be in. It was a 36-inch cabinet, and the new stove was only 30 inches. That gives me about 3 inches on each side to build some pull-outs. I'm going to use one side for a spice rack, and the other one to hold some items like cookie sheets. The cabinet faces that got torn out were hard maple, so I chose to use some of that hard maple and then to continue with hard maple for these pullouts. I think it looks really nice next to the blue once they got painted. Here I'm just laying out and gluing up the spice rack side. Hey, don't underestimate the power of that stair. Since both the front and the back of these pullouts are going to be covered and you're not going to be able to see them with the finished product, I just use screws for the joinery on this. Now there you can see the stainless steel rods that I used. I was able to get very close to the edge and they were very strong compared to using wood dowels. I think it looks really nice too. I ended up mounting and remounting these a few times to get them in the right spot. In the end, I pulled them out from the face of the cabinets about three inches so that they would be flush with the stove, and then there'll be a curve in the countertop to account for that. Here you can see the dowel joint that I use and my awesome camera skills as I'm completely zoomed off of what I was doing. After this glue set up, I was able to get them the drawer slides mounted back up for the last time and hang those drawers in there. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't be afraid to hit that like button. If you hadn't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe and be sure to hit that bell for, so you get notifications. Thanks again. See you next time.